Ladies and gentlemen, prior to the introduction of today's starting lineup, GMAS Blossom would like to take a moment to honor their eight senior members who are playing in their final two home games of their college careers. Yesterday afternoon, this group of seniors helped GMAS Blossom to just their, 20, their third 21 season and first is the 2010 campaign. The first team to be honored today is number three, Brian Fiello. One of, one of six four-year members in this year's senior class, Brian has appeared in 125 games during his career at UMass Boston. Of those 125 games, Brian has earned a spot in the starting lineup 75 times. Coming in today's contest, Brian is ranked fifth all-time in career assists with 232 and has combined for 141 putouts. A dedicated player with unmeasurable work ethic, Brian has proven to be a leader both on and off the field since he arrived on campus four seasons ago. Hailing from Torrington, Connecticut, number three, Brian Fiella. Brian is joined today by his parents, Tony and Tammy. Go like right here. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Our second team to be honored today is number four, Charlie LaPaglia. The most recent team to tie the program record for triples in a single game with two, Charlie has been one of the biggest, most versatile players. During his career, Charlie has played every position in the off field and has even served as one of the biggest starting first baseman. He currently sits in the top five for triples in a single season with five and then, which he recorded as a junior. During his four seasons, Charlie has appeared in 126 games, has combined for 15 doubles, 6 triples, and 5 home runs. He also has 57 RBIs during his four seasons with the Beacons. Hailing from Marshfield, number 4, Charlie LaPaglia. Charlie is joined today by his mother, Yvonne. Our third team to be recognized today is number 10, Kyle Zatrowski. A true leader for the Beacons, Kyle remains the first and only player in program history to record a no hitter, which he accomplished as a freshman. Ranked third all time with a career ERA of 3.27, Kyle has amassed 119 strikeouts, which ranks in the top 10 all time. He also worked in a combined 178 complete innings and has earned all conference accolades twice. A true competitor, Kyle has started on the Hill 28 contests and has faced 799 batters in his prolific career. Last season, Kyle picked up the bat and also served as the Beacon's first baseman and finished his junior season with a 250 average. Hailing from Agawam, number 10, Kyle Zatrowski. Kyle is joined today by his parents, Jim and Ann. Our fourth senior to be honored today is number 12, Todd Easel. Having the best season of his four-year career, Todd has been red hot for the Beacons as he comes into today's contest riding an 11-game hitting streak. Today, Todd is hitting a team leading 381 has combined for 32 hits. He entered today's contest with a 419 slugging percentage, having stepped onto the field in a total of 118 games during his career. In his career, Todd has 29 extra base hits to his name and has combined for 145 total bases. Hailing from Westfield, number 12, Todd Easel. Todd is joined by his parents today, Todd and Deborah. Our fifth scene to be honored today is number 19, Steve Roach. One of the Beacons' most reliable pitchers, Steve has appeared in 34 games in his four seasons with the Beacons. He has also earned his spot in the starting lineup eight times as combined for five wins during his time here with UMass Boston. In 74 and two-thirds innings of work, Steve has struck out 42 batters and has a career ERA of just over five. Perhaps his best performance came last season when he put on display in front of his hometown crowd to lead UMass Boston to a non-conference victory. Hailing from Worcester, number 19, Steve Roach. Steve is joined today by his parents, Steve and Sue. Right home Our next team to be honored today is number 25, Chris Big Cat Adams. The two remember member of the Beacon roster, Chris has appeared in 44 games. In 94 at bats, Chris has totaled 16 RBI and 27 hits and has a career slugging percentage of 415. During his two seasons, Chris has served as the Beacon's first baseman and designated here, making an immediate impact with his coaching staff and teammates. Always willing to step up and play when called upon. Chris has, has been a dedicated leader both on and off the field for the Beacons. Hailing from Whitman, number 25, Chris Big Cat Adams. Chris is joined today by his parents, Chuck and Debbie. Got him up. Our seventh seed to be honored today is number 30, Harlan Zero. Another strong lefty senior pitcher for the Beacons, Harlan continues to produce the best season of his four-year career. In 31 appearances, Harlan currently has four wins and one save to his credit. 
In 52 innings of work, Harlan has struck out 36. This season, Harlan boasts a 2-0 record and has an ERA of 4.56, which is a career low for the senior lefty. He also has 21 strikeouts and most recently shut down regionally ranked St. Joseph College in Maine to help the Beacons to win 11-4 win over the Monks. Hailing from Bridgewater, Connecticut, number 30, Harlan Zero. Harlan is joined today by his parents, Mike and Liz. Our eighth and final scene to be recognized today is number 31, Josh Comiskey. Another two-year member of the Beacons roster, Josh is emerging the Beacons' go-to closer this season. Currently sitting with a 3-0 record this year, Josh has accumulated five saves during his time with Beacons. This season alone, he has tallied four saves, which is one short of time a single season record. In 58 and one-third inning of work, Josh has struck out 34 batters and has a 3.09 ERA with the Beacons. Hailing from all, number 31, Josh Comiskey. Josh is joined today by his parents, Steve and Lori, and brother Jeffrey. Come on, Josh, give me something, kid. Give me something, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, how about one more round of applause for the 2015 senior members of here at UMass Boston Beacons. UMass Boston thanks each of these seniors for their countless contributions and their families. And wish, every, wish them the best of luck in all their future endeavors.